Right, so what we have here is a Briggs & Stratton Intec engine and it's having carburetor issues. Uh, we're going to fix that. First thing we need to do is take off this red engine cover and you have two Torx um, screws in the front and you have 3 8 two 3 8 bolts in the back, one on each side. And if you loosen those up enough, you can just pop this right off and get to the carburetor quite easily. These are the tools I am going to use to do this job. A 7 16th socket, a 5 16th long socket, although you can use just a 5 16th wrench or crescent if you're desperate. Um, this is a half inch wrench that I've actually made quite narrow which will come in handy you'll see and a pair of needle nose pliers I already have the fuel line clamped I'm gonna go ahead and just take it off the carburetor is actually leaking from from this inlet too so I'm going to have to replace that as well 7 16 on each side breather hose is connected back here as well. You can just pull it off. There you go. Now there is a trick to taking this carburetor off. I'm going to pull it, pull it out and then we're going to have to rotate it. I'm going to break it loose here just by tapping on it. Get that off of there. And now we have these two bolts to remove. You have a long 5 16 long socket, that's the best way to take these off, although you can use any sort of 5 16 wrench or crescent wrench if you have to. Now once we get these off, we're going to have to rotate the carburetor to get it off the linkages. Oop, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this right now. There we go. Try to keep the linkages in place. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the choke linkage. And remove the spring. Tape the carburetor, it looks like this way to get it off that linkage. And this is the way, if you remember, it'll go back in. Take that off. We're free. Now that the carburetor is removed, here's where we're going to use that narrow half inch to take off the fuel thingy, whatever they call it here. There we go. My chicken's trying to attack me here while I'm doing this. Doesn't make it easy. All right. So I want to make sure to clean out the float bowl, which I've already done. Uh, it's pitted and rusty, but it's fairly clean. Although there was some sediment in there. I'm glad we got that out of there. Clean up the fuel unit here. And I'm going to pull the pin and pull off the float so I can replace the float valve. Then I'm going to go ahead and clean up this carburetor with scrub brushes and just get it as spotless as possible. the float valve which we'll be replacing. I don't know if you can see it but there's like a light white powdery stuff all over the float. I'll have to clean that off with some carburetor cleaner and a toothbrush as well. You can see all that stuff on there, all that crud, that's what is going to get cleaned off. 
Don't think we can reuse that. The carburetor's in fairly decent decent shape um, from, compared to a lot of what I see, but we're just going to go ahead and clean it up and replace the float valve and the float bowl uh, gasket or the o-ring. And also uh, this inlet is going to need to be replaced because it was leaking as well. I'm going to go ahead and heat this up. It is hot. I've already taken I've already taken this off. And I want to put the flame on the body of the carburetor, not on the uh, the brass, what's left of the valve there. Because that's what we want to expand is the metal around that brass valve. That rooster is going to get me in trouble with the city one of these days. Not real sure how hot I can get this before uh, other important things start to melt down, but I'm going to get it hot. Got my favorite pair of grippy pliers that I'm going to try and twist that thing out of there. Starting to see steam uh, come out of the inside of the carburetor. So I am going to go ahead and try to twist that out now. Wish me luck. Yeah, baby, get out of there. Come on. Yahoo! Success. Ah, screw you, chicken. So this piece was on here like that. This is what the new one will look like pretty much. And it gets pressed into place. So it's always very important to take this one out first because you cannot take out the nozzle until you remove the main jet here. I've already taken the float off. Uh, my next move is going to be to remove the main jet here. And then I'm going to remove the nozzle uh, which is down in here. Uh, this is the tool I use to do it. It's a Briggs & Stratton specially made screwdriver to get down in there. You can make your own, I'm assuming, but uh, this one works really good. And there's the nozzle. You're going to want to clean out every little hole and everything on this as well as that other main jet. So I'm just looking inside the uh, valve inlet hole here and it's pretty nasty in there so I'm going to uh, put something in there. I have one of these circular brushes I'm going to try to clean that out with. See how we do here. If you watch my videos, you'll know that this is what I use to clean out these little holes. All clean, so back in you go. Not too tight. As I always say, this is a brass component going into an aluminum component, both very soft metals, so do not over tighten. Snug is good enough. And the main jet goes back in. Now this one's very easy. You can break this little piece very easily, so don't tighten it too much. You definitely, you have to put this, the one in here in first, because if you put this one in, you won't be able to put that one down through. So that's the part number. That's the valve. I'm not going to get this red hot, because I don't want to melt anything else in this carburetor, but I'm going to heat it up pretty good. And move it to over here. And remember which way the valve is supposed to go. You see it stops right at about there. I 
make it sand. this, move the carburetor like this, slides right on, put the choke lever in, it'll be like that, yeah. So the trick is rotating the carburetor to get it on that linkage. Springs in good shape. Everything's where it's supposed to be. All right. want to get these too tight. New fuel line, new fuel filter. No more leaks.